Is it a bird? Is it a plane? Is it a Lamborghini Diablo? Nope, this is the Stalker Body Kit, built by Jim McAd. It's one of the top five rarest kit cars to ever be built, all of which we'll be taking a look at in today's video. The Stalker started life as a 1986 Pontiac Fiero, like many other replicas of the early 2000s. Jim stretched the Fiero chassis by almost a foot to give his build a more exotic wheelbase, and then he installed a Lamborghini Diablo replica kit on top. But he wasn't finished yet. Taking the project even farther, he converted the steering column to a center-mounted position and added passenger seats on either side. The now three-seater Diablo replica was then further enhanced with custom sculpted exterior panels, giving the car a totally unique design. Although the side profile is still heavily Lambo-inspired, the front features Celica headlights and almost BMW-style grills and the rear panel is barred from a C5 Corvette with a center-mounted exhaust setup. To finish it off, the entire body is painted in shape-shifting chameleon colors. Depending on which angle you view it, the Stalker can look either purple or orange. Since the Stalker is such a heavily customized project, literally only one of them has ever been made. And that's pretty rare. But if you want a more unique build not based on a replica, check out Auto Speciale Limited a British kit car brand founded by a man named Jonathan Harris. Although Speciali's cars were shaped by the wedge cut styling of their time, most of their models had fully unique designs. Their most notable offering was this Valeno component car. It was a mid-engine, two-door, two-seater sports car sold only in kit car form. The chassis was a custom welded space frame, while the engine was most likely borrowed from a Toyota MR2. Supposedly, a turnkey version of the Valeno, rebranded the Predator, was also offered. It's not really clear how many Valenos were built or what became of Auto Speciale, but they clearly aren't around today. This means the Valeno and the Predator are rare artifacts in the kit car world. The Galatia Revision is an odd body kit that debuted in 2010. The objective? To sell an Italian-inspired design based on an affordable economy car. Yep, underneath all the new fiberglass body panels, the Galatia is secretly based on a Hyundai Tiburon. This V6-powered sports coupe was still fairly new when designer Robert Fechtman created his new exterior for it. The kit includes fiberglass fenders, lights, hardware, and a detailed instruction manual to help you transform your ordinary Hyundai into an alpha-esque Italian ride. Best of all, the whole kit was offered for only $5,000. Adding the price of a used Tiburon and a completed build could be as cheap as 16 grand. Unfortunately, the Galatia kit, named after Greek mythology, didn't sell as well as its creator had hoped. From my research, it looks like one, maybe two were ever built, and the company website is no longer active. Today, more than a decade since the kit's inception, it's become one of the rarest designs in automotive history. Who knows if there's even a single one out on the roads anymore? This one's even crazier, Smith Performance Kit Cars, headed by none other than Mark Smith himself. Smith was the original founder of Factory 5 Racing, one of the most famous and successful component car brands in all of history. But after selling that company to his younger brother David Smith, Mark set off to make something a little more unique. Custom-built ute kits. A ute is a utility coupe, 
It treads the line between sports car and pickup truck. Smith Performance takes ordinary Volkswagens, FCA, and Audi products and converts them into practical daily haulers with fully functional work beds. But one of their more obscure models departed from this proven ute formula. The Smith G3F was a completely rebodied fiberglass exotic based on a Mark IV Volkswagen Jetta. The Jetta chassis was bonded to a custom tube subframe that relocated the engine to the rear. The finished kit was completely distinguished from the original VW, and it was sold for only $9,900. Not bad for a mid-engine lightweight sports car. Sadly, the G3F kit is no longer listed with the rest of Smith Performance models, as the company focuses more on the ute industry nowadays. <laughs> this advertisement for the Thunder Ranch Riot is really something unique, and the kit car it features is pretty special too. The California-based component car brand says the Riot is a fully unique build designed in-house. The concept of the car is to create the most dramatic body style that is easily home-built, affordable, and exciting to drive, their website states. The Riot is built on a Volkswagen Beetle floor pan with a frame extension supplied by Thunder Ranch. It's clearly a product of the 1990s. One of them was even featured in the TV show Baywatch. It has a really geeky, supercar wannabe styling, a 600cc motor, and absolutely no safety features whatsoever. The stock kit being powered by such a small motor was probably a drag to drive around. But one was rumored to have a scat crit engine retrofitted by the owner. Although not as powerful as a scat pack from Dodge, the Scat VW boxer motor should still be plenty of power for such a lightweight and <clears throat> unsafe build. Let me know in the comments if I missed the best rare kit car, and maybe I'll include it in a future video. You might also want to check out the playlist of affordable supercar alternatives, which includes a ton of great component cars that you may never have heard of. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.